I'm Daria of the Spotlight Raiders Talk, and you're watching Fan of Fan Network, the voice that sports fans deserve. Just win, baby. Yeah, once a Raider, always 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 what is going on? It is your boy Darian coming to you live with another video. It is the Spotlight Raiders Talk. Shout out to all the subscribers that have subscribed to the YouTube page. If this is your first time ever being at our YouTube page, I would suggest that you subscribe and hit that bell button to get the latest news and all Raiders news. But we're back here with another Raiders video. And in this video, we're talking about another ranking coming from our Raiders offense. Now, this definitely comes into play that ESPN ranks our Raiders offensive weapons at number 24 entering the 2020 NFL season. Now, I have to say that heading into the 2019 season, the Raiders had a lot of uncertainty definitely um, around the offense and relying on unproven Darian Waller, Jared Cook, um, and a, you know, a rookie runner and Josh Jacobs, you know, becoming a workhorse back. But I have to say for the most part, um, the offense performed, you know, better than expected with Josh Jacobs and Waller be becoming studs at their prospective positions. Hunter Riffo played well in the slot and outside their uh, wide receiver position, and it still was a major problem. Now, after, you know, the whole Martavius Bryant and Antonio Brown back-to-back off-seasons, the Raiders decided to use the NFL draft to upgrade the wide receiving cores. Now, the team has three of the first-round picks on offensive playmakers, which definitely can help out their car, but was that enough to improve the offensive weapons? Now, in a recent article by Bill Barnell, he said that he ranks, the, um, he ranks all 32 teams' offensive weapons heading into the 2020 season, and the Raiders came in at number 24 despite all their investments on this off the offseason and here goes what he said about that so what he stated was that las vegas is the 24th best because what lies between those two groups now what else was a mess with antonio brown forcing his way off the team and tyrell williams failing to live up to expectations thanks to a toe injury it should be noted that williams season was almost a carbon copy of his final season with the chargers Fifth round pick Hunter Renfro was unsurprisingly emerged as a slot option, but the Raiders will be continue on rookies Henry Rugg III and Brian Edwards to push for starting roles immediately. Now, while it's fair to be pessimistic about the whole thing and the young wide receivers will perform this season, having stars like Waller and Jacobs should bump them up higher on this list. Now, they do also have a lot of depth on the offense with Jalen Richard, Foster Monroe, Jason Witten, and Hunter Renfro have all proven to be quality comp complimentary players in their given roles. Now, Ruggs and Edwards can develop into a quality outside receiver, and this team can potentially be one of the best offenses in the NFL. But considering the you know the continuing of the offensive line it wouldn't be a shock if this team definitely end up inside the top 10 points per game but look at the raiders weapons significantly it outproduced this ranking in 2020 now with espn i really don't give a crap about espn honestly because i think they're absolutely wrong here ranking us number 24 um, knowing that the weapons that we did bring in, um, they forgot about the Nico Learys and the Nelson Aguilars and more weapons that we did have with Keelan Doss coming back and um, Aitman as well as another wide receiver. So I don't understand why we're ranked at number 24. Like they said with the wide receivers in the last video, I don't understand why we was ranked number 28. I think when it comes to the Raiders, they really do underestimate us when it comes to offense and when it comes to our receivers. Now, I'm not saying that we'll be top 10 and we should be ranked top 10 right now. No, I'm not saying that. But give us some more credit and move us up to the 15 to 20 range. Because at the end of the day, we have a lot of better offensive weapons than a lot of these teams that's in front of us. So, I feel like with the Raiders, they're really disrespecting the offense. And watch how this offense emerges, especially knowing that training camp is coming up soon. And it's a lack of plan with that as well, but that's another story for another time But at the end of the day, I still feel like when it comes to the Raiders and when it comes 
two, the offensive weapons. We should be in that rank 15 to 20 range. Move us up four spots. I wouldn't mind being number 20, but number 24 is pretty steep for me in my personal opinion. So let me know what you think about this video, Raider Nation. Let me know what you think. Make sure you put your comments in the comments below. Comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. It is the Spotlight Raiders Talk, and I will see y'all in the next video. Once a Raider, bruh, always a Raider, bruh. Shit, simple as that. You look silver and black. A lot of bread invested in that old line. Car insurance cost all.